So what happened to Josh Mascara, the previous game director of Diablo 3? Well, a little while ago, I covered how Josh Mascara and Rob Pardo, who was the ex-vice president of game design at Blizzard Entertainment, so him and the ex-Diablo game director left to start a new gaming studio called Bonfire. Now, this also had backing from Riot Games, which is the creator of League of Legends. They've actually seed funded $25 million in their first round of funding, which is kind of seems like a lot, but it's not really that much in game design. But they've now officially launched a brand new website. They've got new logos, basic information about their studio's philosophy. But more importantly, they have a new blog showing off the small studio setup and the computers that they're running. Now, I personally believe the motivation behind this new studio was founded on the idea of how Hearthstone came to life inside of Blizzard Entertainment. Now, it was the first modern Blizzard game put together with a really small team. It was almost like an indie-like production that became a humongous success. That's my personal guess for a lot of the new studio's motivations. Once again, these are my words, not quotes. I just want to reiterate on that. So we first heard about Bonfire's inception in the last half of 2016, and it's cool to see things actually starting to progress along. I'll be keeping a very close eye on their blog for updates, and I'll let you guys know. But at this point in time, we have no idea about what type of game or games they're currently working on but it gets kind of interesting as we go forward. So they're seeking a senior game designer, senior software engineer, a Unity 3D software engineer. Just a side note, this is also used in the production of mobile games, but also a technical artist as well. I can't wait to see what happens when you get like some of the most successful minds in gaming without the huge financial backing of Blizzard Entertainment working in an independent workspace. When the dynamic changes from, hey, I've got basically a comfortable budget to work around to shit we've got backers we need to make this work i'm a veteran let's put my skills to the test they really are putting themselves on the line here so the dynamics interesting two things i want to leave you all with though even though 25 million sounds like a lot it's not that much to get a completely new studio off the ground all of the equipment the space they're going to be working in for a long period of time and lastly i just want to say to raise 25 million in c funding, they most likely presented a game concept to secure the backing from investors. So it was a joint venture between Riot Games and another, I don't know, some hedge fund or some shit like that. But yeah, I highly doubt they walked in and said, hey, I'm Josh Mascara, ex-game director. Give me 25 million. I'm starting a new studio. That's not usually how it works. So now with Josh Mascara and Rob Pardo on board, I mean, there's potential there for it to be an RPG, even a hack and slash game as well. So that's what's been happening behind the scenes with the ex-game director of Diablo 3.